Mateos shows a bluff, Jack High! Oh, you didn't have to show it. Du sykt ikke stoler på instinktene, altså vi har blikksyn her. Jævla dårlig! Well, we're heading over to the secondary table where we are on cooler alert. Oh boy. Ivanov opened with fives. Pastor three bet with aces. Decision now on Mateos who's got queens. That's not going to be good for business. He four bets. Alasmar, our qualifier, has jacks. Wow. He folds. Christopher Frank. All in. Shoves with kings. Oh, come on. Is this a standard deck or just one with all the letters of the alphabet? I didn't look before. Seriously? Boy, are you going to be happy and then immediately disappointed. Ivanov has folded its back on Pastor. Yeah, check this out, Johnny Laden. He reshoves. What does Mateos do now? That. Feels bad, man, but I don't think he can fold. <sighs> what a ridiculous hand. Having aces here and having them hold, that's how you become a grand final champion. And is that? Five. Five. So sick. Sicker than Lucille Austere on a Gravitron. <laughs> I don't know. He knows he's losing in at least one spot, but his odds are also pretty sick. I think I have to call. Yeah. Mateos calls! Good aces. No. I swear, I swear I fall jacks. I swear. Cool story, bro. Aces versus kings versus queens. Well, none of the three ones, eh? Six sweat for everyone. So deep in the tournament, even aces aren't totally safe. Juan Martin Pastor set to triple up. Christopher Frank likely to be eliminated. The flop. Ten four deuce. The turn card. It's a queen! Oh. I am so, so sorry. Buenos dias, Adrian. And now there's a 90% chance we lose two players. Mateos goes from worst to first, and it's a double KO! Frank out! Ah, <sighs> yes. Pastor out! That really sucks. It's never happened. I swear I pulled a jet. Not now, Hattie. Mateos is the new chip leader. And what a horrible beat for the PCA finalist. Round to Adrian Mateos in the big blind. Queen 10. He defends. This will be a race if we see all five cards. The trick is to sometimes not see all five and win some of the ones by betting that you'd lose at showdown. A set for Ferez. Check. Mateos checks his gut shot. And Ferez checks behind. Oh man, you gotta bet your sets. You're losing value and giving free cards. Mateos turns a straight. Look, the jack was coming no matter what, so it's not like the check hurt him that much. But now would be a bad time to stop playing it slow. Mateos leads the turn for 250,000. Oh boy. Ferez raises to half a million. It's not really Ferez's fault, but in general, you don't want to be checking when you're ahead and raising when you're behind. For your health. And now that Ferez has shown himself to be strong, I'd say there's a pretty good chance Mateos tosses in a few more betting discs. Here comes the re-raise. A three bet to 1.3 million. Now I really think the move here is to just call. If you're behind and you get it in, you're in really bad shape. If you're ahead and you get it in, he's probably folding. At least if you just call, your opponent can bluff again on the river. I'm already. Ferez shoves, and Mateos calls with the nuts. It's a straight. 
It's bad. You got outs though, dude, bro. All of Senegal on its feet. This is the biggest pot of the tournament so far. Adrian Mateos gets a huge double up unless the board pairs on the river. Kings, Jacks, Nines, and the K6 all eliminate Mateos. The river card is a 10. Yes. That changes everything. Well, Johnny's putting a lot of pressure on himself to do well here. How about we share some of the burden? How about we sweat with Johnny? All right, I'll allow it. Pocket fives under the gun. He raises to 160,000. Adrian Mateos calls in position on the button. Mohideen Ferez in the small blind. Also calls. I don't need to be rude, but I'm not super worried about Ferez just calling out of the small blind. Adi Alasma, our qualifier, is in the big blind. Yay, fun. Everybody's in. You see, when you don't 3-bet, so much more. Now everybody can win. Set, please. Family pot. And an ace, nine, three flop. Perez checks. Elasma checks. Johnny checks. Free card? Huh? What do you say? Uh. No dice. 275,000 from Mateos. Perez calls. Alasma folds. He completely missed the flop. So calling would be pretty weird here with a bet and call in front of us, and I know what I would do, but folding's never really been Johnny's thing. Remember, those black chips are 100k apiece. This is a check raise to 715,000. Aha! All right. See, now Johnny did raise under the gun, so he can rep an ace here pretty realistically. He, I mean we, we're repping an ace. Action back on Mateos. He calls. Mohedin Ferez. Faults. He had a nine. Well, we got rid of one hand and it was better than ours. So heads up to the turn. Four of clubs. Having raised flop, Johnny checks the turn. We're definitely taking an interesting line. Usually we're supposed to keep betting there. So Mateos bets 650,000. Now this says to me that Adrian is not too worried about what we've got, but if he had a really big ace, maybe he would have three bet before the flop? No? Johnny calls. And this hand's going to the river. With nearly 3.7 million in the middle, Johnny only has 2 million behind. It's the Ace of Diamonds pairing the board. That makes it tougher for us to rep an ace, but also it makes it tougher for Mateos to have one. Johnny checks again. All in. And the chip leader shoves on Lodden. Oh, boy. Calling here and being right is the kind of thing legends are made of, but calling here and being wrong is so stupid and obvious that when you do it, you pretty much die of shame. I think this is a super easy fold, but for some reason, Johnny doesn't agree with me. Johnny knows just how aggressive Mateus has been. I can't even imagine the amount of dynamic and leveling that has been going on for Johnny to be even thinking about calling here. Clearly a tough decision for him. Now that Johnny's so suspicious, I kind of want him to call. Johnny folds. Mateos shows a bluff, Jack High! Oh, he didn't have to show it. 
Du sykt, det er ikke en stol av instinkten, altså, jeg har blikksyn her. Ja, det er dårlig! Via Condios! No way, so nice snap drop. Because then it makes no sense what he's betting if it's not an ace. Ace, you can easily bet. It's a queen, like snap drop. I don't even know how you even think about calling there. So sure you were floating. When I called the turn, I was just going to call the river. I had nothing. Here. Hashtag can't believe he even thought about calling. Hashtag sick spot. Hashtag no filter.